I in this video, we explore 12 unusual signs that may indicate liver damage. It is very important to know these signs because you can take measures to prevent the disease from getting worse. Your liver has a remarkable ability to heal itself with a little help. The common belief that liver damage is primarily caused by excessive alcohol consumption is somewhat misleading. In fact, several factors can cause liver disease, including an overload of sweetened and processed foods, excessive consumption of omega-6 vegetable oils and fast food, constant use of pain relievers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, viruses that cause liver damage. Too bad and hepatitis A if you want to check liver problems. Stay still and watch this video till the end. We will also discuss some simple home remedies to cleanse the liver and prevent further damage. The first sign of liver problems is pale stools. If your liver is not working properly, the flow of bile can be interrupted, resulting in lighter or clay-colored stools. In some cases, feces can even float on top of the toilet water due to undigested fat, causing it to float. Another sign is related to vision problems in low light. If you can see clearly in low light, especially at night, this could be a sign of retinol or vitamin A deficiency. Liver diseases can prevent this process, leading to insufficient absorption of vitamins, resulting in so-called night darkness. The third symptom is swelling of the right leg. If the blood flow to the liver is not what it should be, it can cause the liver to swell and enlarge, which in turn puts pressure on the portal vein. This can cause fluid or water to accumulate in the legs or feet. If you notice that your right foot or ankle is more swollen than your left, this is a common sign of possible liver damage. In a later video, we will take a closer look at natural remedies to improve liver function. Sign number four, white eyelids. Another unusual sign of liver damage is the appearance of small white or yellowish growths around the eyelids. These are small deposits of cholesterol that accumulate under the skin because the liver is unable to break down cholesterol effectively, leading to its accumulation in various parts of the body. Sign number five means pressure on the right side. Another possible sign of liver disease is pressure or discomfort on the right side of the chest, especially after eating. Liver damage can cause bile to become thick and slimy, which can block the small tubes that connect to the gallbladder, causing pressure and discomfort around the ribs. This pressure can also affect the phrenic nerve, causing muscle tension and pain around the right shoulder. Mark number six contains purple and red spots. When your liver is overworked, inflamed, or weakened, it produces fewer proteins needed for proper blood clotting. Therefore, you may be prone to bruising and sometimes you may notice unusual purple or red rashes and small red spots on your skin. It often occurs in areas such as the lower legs or arms and is caused by reduced blood flow associated with liver disease or possibly diabetes. Continuing with reference number seven, we cracked heels. Your body depends on vitamin B3, niacin, to maintain skin strength, smoothness, and moisture. But when you're dealing with liver disease, your body diverts its niacin stores to repair liver damage, leaving less of this important nutrient for other functions. This can cause the skin on the soles and heels to dry out and crack. You can solve this problem by increasing your intake of vitamin B3 and treating the underlying problem, which is often fatty liver. Another symptom of liver disease is a constant need to scratch, especially on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet. This condition is caused by an accumulation of bile acids under the skin due to insufficient filtration of these acids by the liver. This buildup causes histamines to build up in the bloodstream which triggers the itching sensation. Mark number nine has completely white or feather nails. If your nails turn completely white, lose their natural pink color, or become more rounded or bulbous, this could be a sign of serious liver damage or another health problem. This condition can prevent the delivery of oxygen to the nail matrix. Interestingly, in the 1950s, researchers found that 8 out of 10 people with severe liver scaring had completely white nails. Sign number 10 is dark urine. Your liver plays an important role in breaking down old red blood cells that contain a yellowish pigment called bilirubin. 
If the liver or gallbladder is damaged, this pigment can accumulate in the body and eventually be eliminated in the urine. As a result, your urine can turn a very strong dark orange, amber, brown or coke-like color because your liver is not processing the pigment as it should. Additionally, certain medications such as antibiotics, sleeping pills or birth control pills can contribute to this discoloration by stressing your liver. Sign number 11 is yellowish skin. If your liver is not working properly and cannot effectively filter bilirubin from your blood, it can cause skin discoloration. This can cause a yellowish tinge to the skin called jaundice. Jaundice is a clear sign of serious liver damage, which can be caused by conditions such as jaundice, cirrhosis or drug or drug poisoning. If you notice yellowing of the skin, it is very important to see a doctor and consult a doctor. Finally, sign number 12 is the presence of veins. Spider veins resemble small red dots with spider-like blood vessel enlargements appearing on the skin. These are blood vessels that are damaged because your liver is not effectively filtering out excess estrogen. Elevated estrogen levels can weaken the blood vessels in the veins, leading to their dilation and the appearance of these spider-like veins on the skin. If you experience any of the symptoms described here, it is strongly recommended that you make an appointment with your doctor and request an ultrasound. Reverse liver disease. As previously mentioned, liver disease progresses through four distinct stages of damage. Initially, this fat accumulates, followed by inflammation and the formation of scar tissue known as fibrosis. In its most advanced and potentially life-threatening stage, it develops into cirrhosis. Fortunately, there is hope because the liver has a remarkable ability to recover and fully recover if you improve your diet and use appropriate treatments. Let's review the main steps to repair liver damage. 1. Improve your diet. Reduce sugar, starch and flowery foods such as bread, cookies, candy, ketchup, pancakes, pasta, and soda. A fatty or damaged liver reacts to fructose, a sugar found in fruit, just as it does to alcohol. 2. Use bitter and sulfurous foods. Include foods such as green leafy vegetables, artichokes, radishes, garlic, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, mushrooms, pasture-raised eggs, wild salmon, oily fish, walnuts, onions, scallions, and broccoli. Sulfur-rich foods can help reduce fatty deposits in the liver by increasing glutathione levels and supporting the detoxification of harmful substances. 3. Start your day with organic coffee. Add a teaspoon of turmeric. Coffee polyphenols and turmeric phytonutrients effectively reduce the formation of scar tissue in the liver and promote its recovery from damage caused by alcohol, drugs, or fructose. 4. Stay hydrated. Drink at least one liter of high-quality mineral water throughout the day to help thin your blood and support the liver's production of bile to break down fat deposits. Consider adding freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice to increase the liver's ability to filter toxins. Absolutely. Here is an extended presentation with more information. If you are concerned about the health of your liver or suspect that you may have liver damage according to the signs described, it is very important that you do not delay. Your appointment doctor consultation with a healthcare professional is essential for an accurate diagnosis and guidance on treatment options based on your needs. Early intervention can significantly improve outcomes and prevent liver disease from progressing to more severe stages such as cirrhosis or liver failure. Remember that liver health is closely related to general well-being, affecting everything from digestion to immunity. By properly treating potential liver problems, you not only protect the vital functions of your liver, but also improve your overall quality of life. Healthcare providers can perform diagnostic tests, such as liver function tests and imaging studies, to comprehensively assess liver health. Additionally, they can provide valuable information about lifestyle changes, including diet, exercise routines, and possible medications or supplements that can support liver function and promote healing. 
Each person's journey to liver health is unique, and a healthcare professional can make personalized recommendations based on your medical history, current symptoms, and overall health goals. In addition to medical consultations, consider integrating holistic approaches to liver care, such as stress management techniques, proper hydration, and regular physical activity. These preventive measures complement medical interventions and promote a holistic approach to maintaining liver health. By prioritizing regular checkups and preventive health care, you will gain information and resources to maintain the resilience of your liver and optimize your long-term well-being. Your liver plays a key role in maintaining vigor and vitality, making preventative liver health care the cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle. Taking preventative steps today can ultimately pave the way to a healthier tomorrow. Whether you're looking for answers about liver health or looking to optimize your overall well-being, remember that making informed decisions and taking timely action is key to maintaining your body's natural healing abilities. Let's commit to prioritizing liver health awareness and preventive care to ensure that each of us can enjoy optimal health and vitality throughout the years. Let's act with knowledge, think about our well-being, and take decisive steps towards lifelong liver health and overall well-being.